I'm here with Becca from the SPCA and she's brought in this adorable cat named Anaconda <laughs> and he's been a resident at the SPCA for a while now, mm -hmm. uh, about 55 days you said? Yeah, almost so, two months. <laughs> so can you just tell me a little bit about how he came to be at the SPCA? Yeah, him and all of his brothers came in. I think there was one female. Uh, they came in, they were strays, so they all came in at the same time, and they were a bit skittish initially. So he's still a little bit shy. I think he would appreciate a little bit of a quieter home mm -hmm. to go to. But, I mean, he's really kind of coming out of his shell. He's got the cute little poofy cheeks here. And, yeah, he's just he's a happy guy now. And he, he's in a condo with other cats, too, so we think he would get along with a kitty friend at home. Dogs, he still puffs up quite a bit when they come around him, but I mean, if they're gentle with him, I'm sure that they would coexist at least. <laughs> and you mentioned that he's in a condo with yeah. other cats, so how are you doing with um, the numbers that you have right now? Yeah, so with the start of our home for the holidays, we've had, I know at least for sure, 10 go home. We're still quite full. Um, same with dogs, we're, we're jam-packed full of both right now. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, we're, we're really hoping by the end of this home for the holidays that most of our cats that are available for adoption will have gone home um, and then we can start. We have puppies right now, I think that's our biggest number right now is because we have three different sets of litters wow. of puppies right now and a few adults, so we're, we're pretty full. <laughs> so what is his personality like around other cats that you've noticed? Really good, like I think he kind of initially isn't really sure how to introduce himself properly. He's, he's one that'll go right up into their face and is kind of like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> so uh, initially some cats give him a couple little taps of the head, but, <laughs> but for the most part, he seems to win them over. But other than that, like he, he loves affection. Um, like I said, he can be a little bit shyer sometimes too, but I mean, for the most part, he's starting to calm down a little bit already and he just, just likes to be pet. And you had your Jail and Bail event uh, last <coughs> Thursday. <Yes>. How <laughs> did that go and what are kind of some of the numbers that you've uh, uh, donation wise? Yeah, so on the day and then a little bit on the next day, we reached about $9,600, so that was great. We, we were really rooting to beat last year's total, so we did that. So we had about 7,000 and some last year. So we were really happy with that. And then we, we're still told that we're gonna get some more donations in as well too. So we're really, we're looking at a, a bigger number for sure this year. We're really happy with that. And we're coming close <coughs> to the end of the year. Um, so how, um, what do you kind of expect will happen with the last couple of months, you know, cause Christmas is coming up mm -hmm. and there's always that people gift uh, pets for Christmas yeah. and then it doesn't always work out. Mm -hmm. So what, what kind of are you expecting um, after Christmas? Um, for the most part, obviously, we're hoping for none. <laughs> um, you know, we, we go through our adoption questions, and if there's anything that ever kind of, you know, is a bit of a red flag to us, we'll always kind of say, like, you know, maybe you just need to go home and think about it for a night. Like, this isn't just a, you know, like, again, we've said it before, you know, it's, it's just not just for the kids. Like, this yeah. has to be something you're willing to take care of, too. And, you know, it's a, it's a life, life, their lifetime commitment, right? Like, they could live... My parents have a 19-year-old cat right now, so I mean, it can be a long time. So you have to really be ready to have an animal in your life. And uh, mm -hmm. since we talked just a, briefly about him being a very long resident, mm -hmm. um, what are some of your other long residents um, uh, that you have currently? Yeah, like Moscow, he, uh, he's hanging out at Puppy Love. He has currently, I think he's probably at about 110 days now, so um, he, and he's a really sweet, affectionate boy too. Initially, he was quite nervous, uh, and I think that's kind of why he was a bit overlooked. He's a black cat as well, so unfortunately, they get a little bit overlooked as well too. And when you're shy, it's a, yeah. yeah, it's harder to get noticed. So he's one of our longer ones, and then we have Simon, Alvin, and Theodore. They're all still there as well too, and they're our next longest ones. I believe they're probably they probably hit the hundred days now as well too. And then it's just these guys right after them. So. We have, we have quite a few that would yeah. really like to go home for Christmas. <laughs> and really quickly before we wrap up, uh, we have Home for the Holidays yes. going on right now. Can you just give a little bit of brief yeah. explanation of what it entails and how long it's going on for? Yeah, and it goes right until the end of the day, Christmas Eve, and all the adult cats like Anaconda here are $25, and all of the kittens that are ready to go are $50. And those, uh, the cats that aren't ready to go, when, what's kind of the timeline for them? Um, you know, 
we're, we're hitting up the vet clinics right now and seeing if they have any extra space to try and get as many done so we can get as many out as we can. All right, well, perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in yes. and I wish you the best of luck with Home for the Holidays <laughs> yes. and hopefully they can, especially your long residents can mm -hmm. find their home before yes. Christmas. Yes, us too. <laughs> Thank you.